right, we're in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Uh, this is my home province, my home country. We're here visiting with West End Swords. This is a fencing club that's using our software. Uh, we have so many different types of studios, fitness gyms and, and yoga studios using our software. Now we have a fencing club. So I'm super excited to see how they're using the software. They're using it to run their entire business. I know they're using the app, so I'm really excited to hear all about that. So let's go inside and check it out. I've never done fencing. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be talking with Greg. This is an amazing place. Uh, tell me about how you got involved in this. West End Swords started up recently. We used to have a club in a different part of Mississauga and we're just getting this place started and so we needed some solutions and we came to you guys for some of those solutions and uh, yeah, it's been really good so far. The energy's really great in there. Awesome. So tell me about fencing, like why fencing? I love fencing. I started fencing about 20 years ago uh, out west in Alberta actually. I was in high school and I went and, and uh, got dragged out to a club there by a friend of mine. I actually didn't want to go. Ended up trying it and I loved it. I loved it right away and then I just kept on doing it. I've been doing it ever since. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. So again, you turned your passion into your business now yeah. and, and, and you're doing this with your wife, Jen, right? Yeah, so my wife and I started up West End Swords and it's just our thing and we're keeping it very sort of lightweight and streamlined and uh, Wellness Living's been helping with that, which is good and uh, there we go. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, and tell me, so you were actually using another software, right? And then you made that transition over to wellness living so tell me why why you did that change uh, a few different reasons the the people we were with uh, wanted to sort of hike the rates every year and then some some of the companies sort of want a percentage of sales so we liked that you guys were sort of setting a price and locking it in for a little while and that kind of stuff and we liked that you were a Canadian company too so yeah we are Canadian yeah <laughs> and yeah that's a that's a big thing uh, we, you know we like love supporting businesses especially that uh, Canadian businesses and you know uh, I, I do a lot of these at fitness clubs and, and yoga studios, so I'm really, I know you want to suit me up. Yes. And, and you want me to try out the fence. <laughs> I, I'm like so down for that because I'm always up for something new, so that's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah, maybe we can go inside and, and you can show me a class, how it's running, and, and yeah, so take me through it. Sure, that'd be great. So I see there's there's a lot of different uh, equipment here, different yeah. swords and stuff. Yeah, like maybe take us through some of this and what, what are some of the differences? So the modern sport of fencing is divided into three different disciplines. So we have the discipline of foil, which is what we're going to be playing with today. Fencing also has epee and sabre. And these are just different rule sets and different ways that you can go about the same sport that is fencing. So we won't go too deep into the rules, but that's the basic idea. They're used in different ways. Yeah. And I, I see that there's some suits here. So tell me, tell me about this. And, and yeah, we have some protective equipment that's pretty standard for fencing. We've got some club gear here that we're going to put you into. So okay. it should be pretty fashionable once we get it on you. And uh, yeah, we're going to make sure that we're safe to do what we're doing. And uh, then we should have a lot of fun with it. Okay, yeah, amazing, good. amazing. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get. Let's get me suited up and get going. Fencing's kind of a neat sport because it's got a lot of history behind it. It's one of the original Olympic sports and it's got a long history behind it that goes all the way back into martial arts, right? Where people are actually trying to stick each other with swords for real and that kind of thing. So it was a very serious business at one time and then it's evolved into a sport since then and it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. Greg, thanks so much for the class. Like that was so cool. Like I, I feel like I'm back in like medieval times. It was like pretty amazing. And I got a, I've got a pretty good sweat going too. I gotta say, just for that little brief introduction you gave me, I, I got a good sweat going. It's a great workout. Yeah, it's more of a workout than people realize it is until they try it. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty. It was a lot of fun, man. Thanks so much. No so tell me, I know you're a big app user of ours, right? Yep. You got the staff app, and, and you use it for like checking in your clients. Yeah, that's right. We uh, generally, because we're fairly streamlined here and we're generally pretty busy on the floor and we don't want to have a front desk person, we use the app uh, usually on our phones actually. So we're actually pulling it up just in our hands and we're checking people in. We can do a little bit of uh, registration and things like that on there, which is really nice too. So it lets us be streamlined. Very cool, very cool. And your students are actually booking on, on, on the app as well and, and booking into the class and, and buying memberships and all of that and using that. So that, that's, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, it works real well. All right, guys, if you're in Mississauga and you're looking for fencing, and I highly recommend that you try this out, you got to see Greg. 
amazing place, amazing fencing club. It was such an experience and it's something I'll never forget. So if you guys make sure you check it out. The CEO tour is continuing. The next stop is in Chicago. Thank you everyone for following. Make sure you check out the next episode of the CEO tour. Thank you all again for your support.